Well, hello, greetings. It's your old mate Dave Spencer back with you again. And we're going off on another one of our transport adventures, this time in February 2015, when we went to Bangladesh. It was a difficult time in the country. There was a general strike, a hartel, which is usually backed up by violence and also there were some fire bombings going on but uh, it wasn't really as bad as it sounded and we realized that the uh, daily unfortunate road casualties were far in excess of any of those caused by the civil unrest at the time people there very friendly very helpful and as well as the capital dakar we took a trip up to chittagong on the train uh, it runs between 12 and uh, 24 hours late and then each week most modes of transport have an off day so it lets them catch up on all the late uh, running during the rest of the week and also we went on the rocket paddle steamer although a steamer no longer as such and this takes you down the river from Dakar almost to the city of Kulna but not quite because the river's silting up and the days of the rocket already looked very numbered anyway I hope you'll enjoy it what are you going to see yes you will see what you will see and I know because I was there Anyway, I hope you find it of interest and I'll see you at the end. How's that?
lunch, lunch, no. Well, hello, it's your old mate Dave Spencer back with you again. And how was that trip down at Nostalgia Lane? <laughs> how did you like Bangladesh? I think it's a really fascinating country, always very fr friendly and welcoming and some amazing scenes on the transport. And if you want more, perhaps in the future, I'll dip into our previous visit when there were even older deckers working for the Bangladesh Road Transport Corporation. Their as new appearance doesn't last very long. Anyway, it's been a pleasure having you along on this journey and let's hope that you're fit and well and can join us on another one in the very near future from me. For now, it's bye for now. Bye everybody. See you all again soon. <laughs>